Hey guys, Private Jack here. And, well, don't say no one told you because back in around May 6th, I gave a warning to the community that the 2.93 update was coming. Uh, according to the schedule, it was supposed to be released on or around May 26th. Give that a couple more days to actually hit Steam and basically that would put it about June 1st and here we are on the 3rd and everyone is starting to find that Blender has updated. Now in this particular message I told you what you had to do if you wanted to actually have your Blender 2.92 um, configurations and add-ons come over into 2.93. It's in that first little paragraph there. And then in this paragraph here, I told you what you had to do is if you missed that opportunity to transfer your 2.92 settings. Well, I'm on a computer right now that has not updated to 2.93. And I'm going to take you through the process of actually having this happen. Now, for you people out there that don't want to update before we get into updating Blender, I'm going to show you how you can lock in a version of Blender, okay? So it does not update, except for updates to that particular version. I go into my library and let's get into my collections here. And here I've got Blender set up right here. What I'm going to do, if I want to lock a version of Blender in, is I am going to right click on the icon or on the actual listing here, here, and launch the properties. Now, if I come down here and I look at updates, Steam does not give us the opportunity to lock in a version. It's either always keep this game up to date only update it if I launch it, and high priority, update this thing as soon as updates become available. Okay, that's the only options that we have. There's nothing here that allows us to lock in a version of a program. Well, the Blender Foundation team here understands that, and they know that we have people out there that are actually working on projects and they don't want to update their version of Blender. And the way that we get around having a version update is by coming down here into the betas tab. Right now I have mine set to none, which means that as soon as an update is available, it should show up in my downloads area, either be queued or update. If I want to lock in a version of Blender, let's say I've got a bunch of projects I'm working on in 2.83 LTS, I would come in here and I would select that version and have it download and install on my Steam client. Okay, right now I'm just going to select 2.92 Archive and lock in 2.92 Archive. I'm going to close this out and I'm going to launch Blender. When I launch Blender, what should happen is Blender will load. Uh, it's updating. Why are you updating? Hopefully this is going to retain 2.92 for me. Okay, now that it's finished updating, I'm going to launch Blender, and if I did it right, what I should get is Blender 2.92. This version will now not ever update except for any updates that are for this particular version. Okay? So, in here, all my add-ons are available to me and all the rest of that good stuff, and I can continue working on my projects that I want to work on. Let's say I want to roll back to 2.79. I can actually do that through Steam as well. I got to close out Blender. Come in here, go to the properties panel. 
done to the betas, and I just want 2.79b. As soon as I click that, what will happen is Blender will start its download, and it will update itself to that particular working version of Blender that they have on Steam. Okay, now that that's downloaded, this does not affect the settings for any other version of Blender that you particular have on your system at this particular time, okay? This, if I had Blender 2.79 loaded before, what 2.79 will do now is it will go back and it will find all my previous setups and add-ons and whatnot else for 2.79. And as long as I have that selected in my betas area, 2.79 will be my working version of Blender and it will not update. Okay, so here, if I go into my add-ons, I should have, oh, it's been a long time since I've worked here. Here you can see I've got source film or uh, uh, Blender source tool set up, and over here in my shaders, I've or in my uh, uh, tools menu I've got cats and I've got MMD set up, and all the rest of that good stuff. So these are my original settings from 2.79 when I had it loaded before. Okay, now I want to get back into loading 2.93. So here, right click properties. I change this to none, and as soon as I do that, what will happen is it will go into my download queue and download the newest version. If I want to lock it in, what I would do is I would come down here and I would select 2.93 stable. But I want Blender to update every time it actually has an update, so I'm going to select none. Okay, now that Blender is downloaded and finished download, what I'm going to do is this is the first time I have launched Blender. So I'm going to click on Launch. And when Blender opens up, what it's going to do is it's going to present a splash screen. I have two options here. I can set up uh, the way I want Blender, the Blender to react to me, like uh, uh, space bars and search tools and that kind of thing. I can set up the, uh, the theme of Blender and I have the ability of transferring my old settings from 2.92, the last version of Blender that I used, into 2.93 or I can set it up with factory settings by clicking on Save New. Now if I clear this screen off without saving uh, Blender I can still go back to that splash screen. Now, usually spacebar brings up the search menu, but in my case it doesn't. If you have not changed that to spacebar, F3 brings up the search menu. I'm going to search for splash screen, and I'm going to load the splash screen, and I still have that ability of bringing in my old settings. I have not saved the blend file yet or I have not closed Blender, and it has not created a new configuration file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to accidentally click on Save New Settings. As soon as I click on that, what's going to happen is Blender is going to set it up itself up as a factory install. It means there's no add-ons except for the the ones that were actually active when, uh, in Blender when it installs. And if I look here in my tool menu, I don't have any, the ability or any of my old add-ons from 2.92. Also, if I go into the search screen and try to do this action again using uh, the splash screen, so F3, splash screen. I'm going to find that I no longer have that ability to bring in my old 2.92 settings. 
I have to do another process if I want to be able to bring those old add-ons and configurations into 2.93. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of Blender. I'm not going to save because I don't have anything there. And what I'm going to do, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> is go to my apps data folder. Now, if you are a regular user, apps data is a hidden folder and it will not be visible to you if you bring up the file explorer. See how I have apps data here? That would not be available to you. So I'm going to open up a session of File Explorer and I'm going to surf to my user folder, which is usually C, Users, Username, and here you can see that apps data is not visible. To make it visible, what I have to do is I have to unhide hidden folders and files. And to do that, what I do is I come in here to View, Options, Change Folder and Search Options, go to View, and here in this list, what I see is Don't Show Hidden Files and Folders, or show hidden files, folders, and drives. I'm going to select show, and I'm going to click on apply. Now, it may not take the first time you tried to do this. I click on OK, and it didn't show up. So I'm going to do it again. View, options, change folder, search options, view, show, apply. And this time it took. And now I can see that apps data folder. I'm going to click on OK. And this is the folder that you want, not applications folder. This is a library folder and it will not take you to where you want to go. I want to go into apps data, roaming, and then down here in the Blender Foundations folder, I'm going to scroll into that go into Blender, and here I will find a folder entitled 2.93. I'm going to right-click on that folder, and I'm going to delete it. I'm going to close off that File Explorer session now, and I'm going to relaunch Blender. When I relaunch Blender, because I've deleted that configuration folder for 2.93, my splash screen is going to give me that opportunity again to actually load my 2.9 settings. This time, I'm going to click on Load 2.92 Settings. Blender will go off. It'll whirl around a little bit. And if I check my Tools menu now, I am going to find that it brought over my add-ons, and everything is ready for me to use. Now, with that, be advised that Blender 2.93, the add-ons that worked in 2.92, may not work in 2.93. Uh, for instance, people are having problems with the CATS plugin or add-on. If I come in here and I want to import a model and I go to my desktop and I find a PMX model, if I have one, uh, PMX, 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 PMX. No, I gotta do it up here in the search. Star dot PMX and search. Nothing found. I'm going to close down into three levels. Maybe I'll find one there. There we go. If I try to bring in a PMX model, I'm going to end up with an error. 
Let's try that again. And here I get an error. Now, I'm quite sure that the CATS team is working on this because what I do to fix this error currently, let's have a look at preferences and see what version of CATS I'm using. Currently I have version 18 installed. If I come down here and I check for updates, there's no updates. Everything's up to date. I'm getting an error in this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to download and install the development version. This is the team working on, this is the version that the team is actually working on. It tells me I have to restart Blender in order for it to work. So I'm going to close Blender. I'm going to relaunch Blender. Exit. All right, exit the cube. File import. PMX. Come on, I know you're in here. There it is. And let's look for that file again. And I'm going to import that one now. And when I import it, I no longer get that error and I actually get a model. So basically we know that the CATS team is working on a current fix for the problem that we are having in version uh, 0 0.18. <clears throat> anyway, that sh this video should give you an indication. If you basically have a add-on that is not working in Blender after doing the update to 2.93, go to that add-on's GitHub page or wherever you downloaded it from and see if there is a developer's version. Download that developer's version and hopefully the developer has identified the problem and is currently working on it and Load up that developer's version, see if it works. It's going to be buggy, yes, because it's a development version, but it just might get you through the problems that you're having with the current uh, stable version for that particular product. Example would be XPS tools, Blender source tools, CATS uh, Blender tools, any of the tools that you use to import a model. FBX importers, that kind of thing. See if there's an actual developer's version and if you're getting an error when you try to import something and load up the develop, developer's uh, uh, add-on and see if it actually fixes the problem and that way you know that the developer is working on a solution for the current release of Blender. Anyway, after all that is said and done, that's pretty much all I got for you. That's how you walk in a version of Blender. That's how you, uh, to uh, prevent updates if you're working on multiple projects in a different version. That's how you can roll ahead, roll backwards to different versions of Blender on Steam. Um, how to get your last versions, uh, updates added to the new version, what to do if you have a problem to, uh, uh, and you've missed that opportunity to update Blender to your old settings, and what to do if your add-ons are broken. So with that, I'm going to say Private Jack out.